I need your ice maple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, okay. So I guess I'll just repeat the question. Um, so Yanni, you know, you've seen like you, you know, handle so much. You run a business. You are a professor also. Um, you published in the past and made films, and you know, you're also a parent now. Mm. Uh, how do you balance all of these activities? And do you have any guiding principles that you live by? It's it's been tough balancing everything, but I guess um, I would rather uh, something I live by is I have to always be following my interests. I have to follow what uh, makes me happy, um, and those are important to me. And on a daily basis. Um, it's, it's not difficult to prioritize. Family always comes first for me. Being with my daughter always comes first for me um, and everything else follows. And, and for me as a parent, I, want, I do want my daughter to know that um, her mom followed her dreams. Not that her mom gave up on things, but that her mom followed her dreams. And that's been, that's been something that, that sustains me. Um, and I have, I have kind of many wonderful collaborators that I work with, colleagues, coworkers, um, creators uh, who, who really kind of motivate me and, and we kind of encourage each other. So that's been, that's been really quite wonderful. Yeah, and you also moved around so much. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have one more uh, just to observe that maybe you want to switch places so that when you're asking the questions, oh. just look in your direction. Okay. Everything else looks great, though. So, mm. I so yeah, you're sitting there, yeah, and then you're going to be looking at that one. Yeah, I need, I need eyes. <laughs> I guess it's weird if you're yeah. like three people there. Like, sort of like one him. holding a camera. And if you're behind him, it'll be right in her okay. eye line. I'm so, just thinking yes, yeah. okay. else looks great. Yeah, okay. great. if you can move this way a little bit. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. So, are we still recording? Okay. So, you know, you've also moved around so much, and you've come here to question Do you Imagine you stay here. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, that video that didn't load before just decided to load now. I'm so sorry. Also, yeah, okay, no this, the, now everything is okay. Now you start the question and you can cut that yeah. out. Um, so, you know, you moved around, you know, not just in the city, but you're originally from Singapore. Um, mm -hmm. Do you imagine staying in Flushing? I, I have uh, felt a sense of belonging in Flushing. Um, I've built um, uh, wonderful friendships in Flushing. So I think I'm going to be in Flushing for a little while. And my daughter is going to start school in September in Flushing as well. Um, so, so I think I'm going to be here for, for a little while, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe on that subject, um, what changes do you see in the Flushing future? Maybe, you know, in 10, 15 years when your daughter is, you know, in high school? I, I don't really know. Um, I can't, I couldn't tell and I, I wouldn't want to say, um, because However, I imagine flushing would be very selfish. It would be kind of <laughs> in the image that I want to, in, in, a, in a way that I want to live and so on. But flushing has provided so many surprises to me. And it is the most entrepreneurial little town I've ever lived in where, you know, everybody has a little business or something that they're trying to do. Um, and, and I love that about flushing. Um, so I, I don't know what it's going to be become, um, but I think that that influx of new immigrants is extremely exciting and, and all these different types of people will shape how Flushing will be in time to come. Um, is there anything that you think could be improved in the neighborhood? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Anything that could be improved that... Um, um, I'm trying to think, like the main street could be cleaner <laughs> and um, I think there are many playgrounds right now. Um, I, I, you know, I would love to see more, more arts and culture. Uh, I think that's my kind of biggest thing that, that there would be, um, 
uh, at a cinema for more kind of independent films, um, that there would be um, quieter spaces that provide alternatives to a very busy flushing. Um, I guess those are my wishes, but it's also to do with, with my lifestyle and what, what I want. Um, um, so, so I guess I also want more kind of community spaces where, where different types of people can be together in the same space. Um, I think at the same time that there are many versions of immigration in Flushing, there are also kind of pockets of people who don't necessarily interact with each other. Even if they live in the same building, they don't necessarily know each other's stories or hear each other's, hear about each other's lives. Um, so, so I do hope to see more spaces where, where there are opportunities for that sharing of lives and stories. And, and for new immigrants or new people who move to Flushing to have um, uh, a sense of continuity that, that that this place didn't just emerge out of the blue, that there's a long history to it, that many other people came before us. Um, I think that would be important for, um, for this place. Um, you know, in your time, oh, well, I think I actually asked her, sorry. Um, so I think we can actually um, wrap up with, um, again, putting you on the spot. Not that we haven't been doing so already, but um, yeah. could you describe the community in Words. The community in three words. The flushing community. Oh, um, um, diverse, um, entrepreneurial, um, oh, I want to say like, like good food. Uh -huh. <laughs> I guess that makes four words. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. You could definitely, you know, make a compound word. I mean, people, you know, yeah. when English is going these days, people just make up words. Good food. Anyway, it's right? one word. <laughs> but, okay, so I think that's it. Um, is there anything you wanted to add? No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thank you.